Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your weekly reading. So um, when I was shuffling this card or this spread out for you, I saw an image. Um, first of all, I saw a man. He's wearing like a chef's hat and he's preparing what looks like a casserole. And um, he's in the kitchen preparing a casserole. He's wearing this uh, chef's outfit with the, the white hat. And he's beaming with pride of, um, you know, based on whatever he cooked up in the kitchen. And uh, I see this woman with like two kids, one baby and a, another one is a smaller child. So like six, seven years old, maybe five, maybe five years old. So it's like a very, very young, small child coming towards him. They haven't tasted his cooking. But they're just, you know, really proud of him, of the fact that he's cooking for his family. Um, the, the man, he's beaming with pride. But I, I feel almost like the wife and the kids are looking at his um, casserole. And they're just like, it probably doesn't taste good. But we're, we're just happy because he's beaming with so much pride. <laughs> so that's, that's the image that I saw. Um, okay, so... The energy for this spread, it, it is a lot about reconnecting with people. It's a lot about, you know, uh, trying to do the right thing. And I, I feel like, you know, the trying to do the right thing is such a generic message. What it means to me is taking care of the people that matter and doing things, even though they might be hard, to not avoid or evade responsibilities. That's what it feels like to me, based on the image and based on this spread. Um, I feel like for some of you, there has been a lot of just um, demands placed upon you. Um, they're not unbearable. It just feels to me like some of you might have like left the house, might have, um, you know, gone on a lot of errands just to get away. That's what it feels like to me, just to get away, just to have your space, just to have your, your peace of mind, just to have your sanity. And I feel almost like a household where the dishes are in the sink where you know if you have children toys and 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 blankets and clothes are just kind of like in disarray and when you look at your environment and when you look at these things these tasks these chores that are around you i feel like many of you get overwhelmed you're overwhelmed with a lot of stuff and you're overwhelmed at you know all the furniture, the furnishings, all the items and trinkets that you have on the shelves. And you're just like, I have to dust, I have to clean, I have to vacuum, I have to do laundry, I have to do the dishes, I have to do all of these things. And when, when we look at life in that way, it can feel very, very overwhelming. So I don't know if you have been taking trips like to just get away, if you have you know, told people, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to run such and such errands. But I feel like these were just kind of like excuses just to get away, just to have your space, just to have that moment to yourself where you're not thinking about all the things that needs to get done. And I feel for many of you, this is at work, this is also just um, in your household. There's this really neat, like strong need, I feel like it, and it, I feel like it has been uh, passing. So like it's still lingering for this week, but it has been something that you were kind of um, running away from in the past. And now you're coming back in and you're just like, OK, let me put these gloves on. Let me get down to business. Let me tackle these things because I don't want them to exacerbate. I don't want like um, I don't I don't want the household to run out of clean plates. I need clean clothes for work or I need, you know, I feel like you're at a point where you have resigned yourself to taking care of practical responsibilities. That's what it feels like to me. So there's no more running away. You're tackling things one by one. And I feel like there's this overwhelming sense of pride, you know, as you, when we get things done, there's this really nice calm soothing sense of accomplishment and i feel like that's what's happening this is the energy that i'm feeling um i do see big um children vibe in this spread okay and what that usually denotes to me is um paying a little bit more attention to the little ones uh looking at what they're doing 
Um, I feel like children, you know, um, getting a marker and like writing all over the walls. And so if you leave them to their own devices, I feel like it, it can escalate. Like it's something that can be prevented easy, like early on. If you catch them doing that, then you can, you know, nip it in the bud and just tell them, stop, don't ever do that again. But if you take your eyes away from them, like five minutes, you know, the whole, the whole house could be overrun with just markers on walls. Okay, so that's what I'm sensing. I'm seeing them kind of resorting to um, attention seeking as well as um, destructive behaviors. Okay, and uh, I feel like they're not teenagers or young adults, I feel like they're little where they don't know what they're doing, but they know they shouldn't be doing something. But you know, kids are curious and they're going to naturally experiment. So that's what I feel happening. I don't feel like they have any malice to their actions. It's just something that you need to be um, keeping an eye on. Okay, so that's children in particular. Um, there are a lot of responsibilities, um, but it's it's not overwhelming to the point where you have like that ten of wands. But I feel like some of you are making things bigger than they need to be. So rather than just tackling things one at a time, I feel like you're 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 overwhelmed. You're you're just like overwhelmed by the thought of it, and so you have been very inactive. Okay. Um, so that, that's just like on the mundane front for those of you who are dealing with this energies. Um, what I'm also feeling as well is there's just a lot of communication, electronic communication, errands, like um, somebody telling you, can you do this, can you do that? Uh, running errands, constantly running errands and um, changing direction as well is what I'm, I'm seeing, like uh, changing direction as to what you need to do, what's the next step, what else do I need to do, and, and things like that. Following up with people, trying to get projects done, trying to get things situated. And I also feel as well, there might have been uh, um, quite a bit of frustration in the workplace for those of you who are working for other people, not so much self-employed here, but I feel like working for other people where where you know it is the holiday season people are not where they need to be so like you need something signed off and you go and and, and find that person they're not in their office so that's a, a, a source of frustration as well because everything needs to be you know looked at everything needs to be pushed up the chain of command and for whatever reason people are just not where they need to be and you so projects get a little bit stalled However, the work that you do, your due diligence, as well as whatever it is that you need to do, um, you're moving things along, okay? So I, I see a lot of fast with movement, movement from your end. Um, you're getting things done. You're like resigning yourself to the fact that this needs to be done today, so I'm going to tackle it even though I don't really want to. I'm not going to procrastinate on it anymore, and I'm just going to move, move things along, move things forward. So that's what I feel, and um, I feel like it's the other people around you that are making things a little bit more complicated. They're not where they need to be or like they're taking such a long time getting ready, getting things done. Um, so that's what's coming through. But, you know, you anticipate these roadblocks. And so I feel like from your end, it's not going to phase you so much. And you have so much to do that if something is stall, you can switch gears and shift into a different priority like shift into another project work on something else while that thing gets cleared up so that's what i'm feeling here um i feel like there has been a recent like um i don't know if it's a an argument a falling out a stall communication between you and another person and in particular i do see a um an air sign aquarius a gemini or a libra And um, I feel like it's a family member, okay? It could be a spouse. Um, it, it's somebody that you consider family. Somebody you consider family. Could be a spouse, you know, you, you would consider them your family member. It could be a child. It could be um, a member of the family. And I feel like the conflict 
this is like a something that's like an epic conflict okay it's it's it seems like no matter which way you splice it there's a stalemate here and no one is really coming in offering an apology it's it's like you're seeing the situation from one perspective they're seeing it from their perspective and nobody sees that there's anything wrong with it so you don't think what you're doing is wrong they don't think what they're doing is wrong and so you both are kind of like at a stalemate differing opinions different viewpoints and so there's a big stalemate here I feel like this is a person that is quite significant in your life, like quite significant, like you, you care about them, they care about you. And I feel like from an outsider's perspective, I feel like this is a very minuscule, a very, very small argument. And uh, I feel like, you know, no one's going to budge. And I feel like it doesn't have to be this way. It, it does. It, it's like two people who are just like not seeing that, that there's anything wrong with their actions. But from an outsider's perspective, I just don't feel like it's worth the the hassle to you know not speak to each other. I don't feel that it's worth the hassle to be mad at one another. I feel like it's a just another bump in the road, and you should treat it as such. That's what I'm feeling, like, in the greater scheme of things, this m tiny, minor little conflict doesn't really matter. And I feel like, for whatever reason, this conflict is, is occupying your time and occupying your attention. And it doesn't need to be given that much, you know, um, credence. So, I definitely feel an energy where you're making things a lot bigger than they have to be. And I feel like the more you ignore things and the more you procrastinate on things, the bigger they they occupy that space in your mind. And so the, the right solution is actually, you know, taking care of things. Don't dwell on it. And I, I feel like you guys, if, if it's not tackled head on, you tend to dwell on it. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm sensing. And if there is conflict, I just feel like you can, you know, leave it like this, le let it fester, let it continue. And it would be probably four months until you start talking to the other person again. Because they're not really making the first move either. Or you could just, you know, cut out the BS and just communicate with each other. Water under the bridge or, you know, arrive at some type of a truce. So that, that's what I'm feeling here. And I just feel like it, it doesn't need to be this way. Okay. Um, I have here uh, another person, like this is a romantic partner, I feel, coming into the picture. And you're going to be communicating heavily with this person. And um, I have an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody, if it is a, um, like a potential love interest, I feel like they are really assessing you. Okay. They haven't really decided if they want to jump the gun. They haven't really decided if they want to go forward. I feel like they're still a little bit stuck on their past. If you are newly dating this person, I feel like they have gone through like, um, they, they have, they, they have gone through some type of a major breakup in their recent relationship. They're not 100% over it. They're still very cautious and, and methodical about, you know, jumping into a new relationship. And I feel like they are very trustworthy, very reliable, very truthful. So if you're wondering, you know, if they're telling you the truth, if you're wondering these things, I feel like they haven't really made up their mind about how they feel about you just yet. And I feel like if you are pursuing this person, um, there's a standoffish energy about this person because I feel like it's somebody who doesn't bite off more than they could chew and it's somebody who doesn't start things that they can't finish okay so they're they're very deliberate about what steps to take and when and i feel like 
I feel like there's a lot of communication coming through between the two of you, but they still haven't made up their mind. So it, it's 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 still at the stage where you kind of have to put your best foot forward. You kind of have to show them that you are very reliable and just take things really, really, really slowly. Okay, because they're 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 still assessing. Okay, and and just let the relationship or the situation kind of naturally unfold. I don't see like there are third parties or anybody else in the picture. I just feel like this is a person that has a lot of, a lot of other things that are preoccupying their mind and they, they're, they're very meticulous when it comes to getting all the details just right before they um, embark on something new. So that's what I feel here. For some of you, this is a person that um, as well they're they're contemplating you know what they need to do in order to to get moving in in their own life okay so it, it might not even have anything to do with you they're just very preoccupied with a lot of things in their lives you know their their work their career their professional image and things like that um i'm also seeing people who might be in school um who might be traveling for like some type of a research gig that's what i'm sensing um, I got, and I rarely get this with this card, but is I have the Nine of Pentacles, so like traveling to a warmer location, doing something related to research, doing something related to like scouting, scouting out a new location, scouting out the territory, uh, going around, and I feel almost like doing some type of um, uh, testing when it comes to soil, like land, soil testing, taking a sample of something taking a sample from even plants, taking a sample from some type of fruit, or getting seeds so that you can bring back to a different location. So I, I definitely see some, um, some research, some people gathering things, gathering samples, um, maybe even like um, blood samples from locals or from, you know, so that's what I'm, I'm getting. And I don't get that for the Nine of Pentacles, but it did show up in this spread. So. Um, some of you could be, I, I, I keep seeing like somebody taking a syringe and then taking a little bit of a, a sample. It could be like a sap from, from like a, a tree or like um, plasma from like a patient extracting the, the red blood cells from the plasma and then running it through like a microscope. So that that's running it under a microscope. So that's what I'm getting. Um, and I, I get as well, a lot of people that might be in the nursing or the medical profession doing these things, okay? So even like if you were, even if you were in med school, if you're doing your residency, I definitely feel there is an element here about doing some research too, behind the scenes in a lab or going off into like um, the Southern hemisphere and looking at some type of epidemics that might be happening there and then taking samples and doing like going around to, 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 to talk to the locals and asking them like, you know, what is your medical history or even like taking census data. So there's a lot of uh, work field work i i feel that that might have um really preoccupied your time okay so i i feel a lot of people doing that and obviously that's not going to apply to the majority of cancerian watching this but i i feel like um you're bringing back a lot of samples you're bringing back a lot of things um just a, a quick note of advice okay if you have been um Okay, so this is like a, a, a Cancerian trait, okay, especially if you have Cancer Moon, especially if you have Cancer Moon. For many of you, I, I feel like Sun Signs as well, let me see, Sun Signs is not as bad, but I feel like more so Cancerian Moon people. Um, you guys can tend to be a little bit of hoarders, okay, like hoarders, you hoard things. And you have you collect a lot of things and you have a lot of things a lot of things in your home in your office in your environment and uh, if you find yourself like why am I not able to concentrate why am I not comfortable why do I feel so unsettled it's the things around you everything collects energy and so this holiday season 
the best gift that you can give yourself is don't buy yourself any more things. Um, try to give away the things that you don't need, okay? So I, I see a very clutter environment. And I just feel like, you know, the at the beginning when I saw that image, the man is in the kitchen and there's just a lot of things in the house. Like there were just a lot of unnecessary things. And so try to declutter your environment. If you're feeling like, why am I feeling so restless? And especially if you've been kind of avoiding going home for whatever reason, because all the things are piling up or the dirty things you have to, to clean and, and to have, you have to take care of, it's time to consider, you know, uh, giving things away. Do some spring cleaning, okay? Do, do it around this holiday season and you're going to notice a huge energetic change in your environment. If you haven't touched something in six months, get rid of it. Honestly, get rid of it. If you, you like something, but you're just like, I haven't used it. It doesn't have any use value. Get rid of it. It's going to make, it's going to free up your energy is what I'm, I'm feeling. Because I see a lot of clutter, a lot of just trinkets and knickknacks and, and things that you, you know, they just sit there and they collect dust. And you might not have the time to, to, to do these things, to, to like maintain or even clean up these things. So try to clear up your environment. You're going to notice a huge difference, okay? Um, it is time to, to you know, reconnect and, and communicate and kind of get back to family, I feel. Okay? And going along with that first message that I saw where, you know, he's so proud of, that he made this casserole and then everybody's going to sit down and really enjoy it. And his wife and kids are just like, it probably doesn't taste good, but um, we're going to eat it anyways. So you have some people in your life that really, you know, they love, they love you at, for your presence. They just love you to be around. And they love the fact that you are taking the time to cook this for them. Taking the time to, you know, spend time with them. That's what it feels like. And especially if it's family, if it's your spouse, if it's your kids. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter the toys. It doesn't matter the things that you bring home. None of those things matter. And probably it doesn't even matter um, the things that you cook as long as your presence is there because I feel like they gravitate towards you. So make time for the people and less time for the things, okay? Um, I hope the reading um, is helpful for you guys and I hope it resonates. I do wish you all the best. And by the way, if I didn't, I, I might not have mentioned this earlier, um, it is roughly for December 10th to the 16th, okay? The week of December 10th to the 16th. So I wish you all the best, Cancer. Try to declutter your space, okay? And, and keep things neat and tidy and minimalistic, all right? You're going to notice a huge change in your energy, and I feel like it's going to be so much better all the way around, all right? For the people around you, for your emotional well-being. And so um, I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care.